Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today we'll do our fifth video in the series on the topic of exponents. There are ten videos altogether. There are going to be ten lessons altogether. Today is the fifth one in the in the, in the series of ten, and today is our lesson number one hundred and twenty. The problem for today is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it. 0 0.0025 times 2.7 times 0 0.05 times 0 0.1 times 0 0.003 this thing when you simplify it equals to what? and these are the answer choices these are the answer choices 450, 45, 4.5, 0 0.45 and 0 0045 I'm going to be quiet now. I'm going to give you five seconds to be able to pause and unpause the video. I want you to pause the video. I want you to solve the problem yourself. Once you have done so, once you have your answer, then resume the video and then we'll compare your work against the work that you and I will do together in a few seconds time. Okay, I'll give you five seconds to be able to pause and unpause the video. Well, let's see what's going on. But the quickest, simplest, most efficient method here is to find is to convert these these decimals into whole number as soon as possible. How can we convert 0 0.0025 into a whole number? Well, the decimal is right here. If you want a whole number, we gotta move it one, two, three, four places. We need to move it four places. Similarly, here, the decimal is here, we need to move it one places. One place. In other words, in other words, if you were to take 0 0.0025, if you were to take 0 0.0025 and multiply it by 10 raised to 4, we should be able to move our decimal four places. 1, 2, 3, and 4. It will be right here. It will become 25. Similarly, here we have 2.7. 2.7, if you were to multiply it by 10 raised to 1, we can move the decimal places here and it will become 27. So on the top, we multiply this thing by 10 raised to 4, and here we multiply it by 10 raised to 1. In other words, we multiply the top by 10 raised to 5. Let's see what we need to do at the bottom. Let's see what we need to do at the bottom. On the bottom, we have 0 0.025, 1, 2. We need to move it two places. 0 .0, 0 0.05 multiplied by 10 raised to 2. That will take care of this part. Then we have, let's put this in the parentheses. Then we have point 0.1, point 0.1, if you multiply it by 10 raised to 1, it will become 1, because we will move the decimal place, 1 is part, it will become 1. Then we have, I need room, I need a lot of room here, so I'm going to have to raise all of this thing. Then finally we have point 0.003, point 0.003, there are 3 decimal places, 1, 2 and 3, there are 3 decimal places to convert this into a whole number. In other words, we need to multiply it by 10 raised to 3. Now this is where you have to slow down and this is where you have to pay attention because as you, as you saw a little while ago, the nature of the answer choice is simply the nature of the answer choice is such that it's simply 44 and 5 depending on where the decimal place falls. It's 450, 45, 4.5, 0 0.45, 0 0.05. So we know we know we're going to get 45, but it's a, it's a matter of paying attention as to where the decimal falls. And that's going to come from here. Okay, pay attention here. I'm going to circle it with the red marker so you can see it. On the bottom, on the bottom we multiply it by 10 raised to 2, 10 raised to 1, and 10 raised to 3. 3 plus 1 is 4, 4 plus 2 is 6. In other words, we multiply the bottom by 10 raised to 6. But on the top, we have 10 raised to 4 and 10 raised to 1. That's only 5. That's only 5. We need to have one more 10 on the top. We need to have one more 10 on the top. Now we are even. Now we are even. Essentially what we are doing here is this. And here is what we are doing. Okay, watch here. We counted here. We had five. One, one, two, three, four, and then one here. We have five decimal places. On the bottom we have one, two, and then here we have one, that's three, and here we have four, five, and six. So we realize that on the bottom we have six decimal places. So essentially what we're doing is we're multiplying the top and the bottom. We're multiplying the top and the bottom by 10 raised to 6. Now I'm running out of space on that hand. 
essentially what we're doing is we multiply the top and the bottom by 10 raised to 6. There. And that's perfectly okay. We have not changed the value of the quantity because we're multiplying the quantity by 1, except the 1 takes the form of 10 raised to 6 over 10 raised to 6. And that 10 raised to 6 is broken up, listen very carefully, that 10 raised to 6 here, this 10 raised to 6 is broken up into 4 and 1 and 1. 4 and 1 and 1, that's 10. And similarly here at the bottom we have 10 raised to 6 which is being broken up into 2 and 1 which is 3, 3 plus 3 is 6. You see that? That's it, we're done. So now 0 0.0025, we're going to move it 4 decimal places, 1, 2, 3, 4 because it's 10 raised to 4, it's going to give us 25. Here 2.7 is going to become 27 by the time we multiply it by 10. And that one, 10 raised to 1 is just 10. Let's see what we have on the bottom. On the bottom we have 0 0.05, when we multiply it by 10 raised to 2, it's going to become 1, 2, it's, it's going to become 5. That was the whole point. It will become 5. 0 0.1 times 10 is just 1. That will just be 1. And here we have 0 0.003, by the time we multiply it by 10 raised to 3, it's going to become 3. That's about it. We're almost done. We're almost done. Let's divide top and bottom by 3. We divide top and bottom by 3. 3 goes away and 27 is going to become 9. Let's divide top and bottom by 5. 5 is going to go away and 25 is going to become 5. We have 5 times 9 times 10. 5 times 9. 5 9 is a 45. 45 times 10 is 450. It is 450. Because it, it boils down to 5 times 9 times 10. 5, 5 times 9 times 10. Don't forget that 10, otherwise you're going to end up picking 45 as the answer. 5 times 9 is 9 5 is a 45, or 5 9 is a 45, 45 times 10 is 450. And the answer is going to be A. The way the answer choices were laid out for us, the correct answer choice here is A. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.